Right guys, I'm down here at St. Anne's Old Links and I thought I would do what's in the bag. It's been a long time since I've actually done one. I've had a few new additions to the bag and I know you guys have been asking for one of these for quite some time. So I thought I'd get on with it and show you around. This might be subject to change at the end of this month because I'm going down to TaylorMade and I'm getting a matte fitting session down at Wentworth for the new PSI irons, which I was very impressed with when I hit them over in the States a few weeks ago. So I'm looking forward to actually getting on the launch monitors properly and testing those out but for now this is the bag i'm using in competition and i'm using in the vlogs as well so i've got my hand held i've got this camera so let's have a little bit of a look around now I'll start off obviously with the driver which has been pretty damn impressive since i've actually put it in the bag so i got the m1 when i was over in connecticut kind of a few weeks ago and it's been it's pretty awesome to be fair since then. It's, it, it's the best driver I've used. It's a lot better than the R15 uh, that I was using previously. So I've got the 430 head. I'm sure you're all familiar with how this um, kind of design looks now. So you've got the carbon fiber crown and then it's contrasted it against the white. I've got the 9.5 head. I've got the weight uh, central gravity shifted forward and the kind of center weighted as well. So I'm going very much for a low spin center strike on these. Um, I've got the 9.5 head, but that's cranked down to as low as it goes. So we've got the higher, got the standard loft. I'm kind of down at about seven here, just to try and keep it as low as possible because, you know, height isn't my issue, keeping the spin low is. Now, what I actually got the guy to do is test me um, when we're over in the States and he managed to get the shaft pretty much straight away, which really lowered down my spin. So it's in a dealer 70-2.8X, it's a dealer Rogue as well, should point out. Then it's just a kind of normal standard grip. Now, I have to say, since using this, I have been massively impressed with it. I really, really have. Um, it's always nice when you get given clubs. I mean, myself and Rick were in a very lucky, posi lucky position, a lucky situation where manufacturers do tend to give us clubs to use, to try and see what we think. This is definitely the best driver I've had. I'm not just saying that because they gave me it. It's definitely the best driver I've had in a long, long time. And it is working on the course. Apart from one shot, the first shot on my last round, that was a bit of an issue. But apart from that, it's going very, very well. Now, second up, um, I've had this kind of aero burner TP3 wood in the bag for pretty much most of the season. I've got to be honest, it's almost a slightly... I'm not going to say a redundant club, but it is slightly redundant because I hardly ever use it. I might have a look at actually switching this up to maybe a five wood in the near future to try and get a little bit of balance, but then that encroaches into the one iron territory. So this part of the bag is up for um, kind of debate a little bit because I'm not entirely kind of comfortable with the setup. It's a cracking three wood. It goes an absolute mile. It's um, good to look down on. And I've got the kind of X stiff Ozic in here as well. Uh, the white tie, uh, just a multi-compound grip on there as well. So it's not it's not something I am 100% happy with, not because I'm not happy with the club, the club's excellent, just that part of my bag between my three, between my driver and my one iron, I need to have a bit of a test around and actually find out if there's something in there which will suit me a little bit better. Now, after that, one club which probably isn't going to be going anywhere for quite some time. Um, Andy, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I did steal this off uh, Andy Carter, one of the professionals at Trafford Call Centre. So it's a Mizuno MP33 one iron. Very, very slim uh, to look down on. It's got an S300 shaft and a medium size ping grip. This is a bit of a weird one really where I just had a few goes with it, had a bit of a try with it and it was amazing straight away. So there was no need for me to actually want to change it. It was so good straight away, why bother? Simple as that really. Um, after this, we go kind of onto the irons now. These irons I've had in a while, and this is what I'm gonna be changing. So I've got the X100 shafts, and it's the S56. So like I said, I've had these for kind of quite some time now. And it's probably, it's probably a little bit of time for change. Black dot, I'm pretty standard um, in ping. I've kind of had a few goes with a few irons, but nothing's really kind of jumped out and said, you know, you really, really need to kind of replace these. You know, apart from the PSIs, which I had a go with, instantly they felt a lot, lot better. So I'll have a go with those. And if that second 
hit is as good as the first, then I'll probably get the set of PSIs rather than pings. But the pings have been with me for the last three, four years now. Um, so it's been quite a while and yeah, I've enjoyed using them. So we'll see. Um, onto the wedges, I have got a pitching wedge in the S56 as well. Then I've got a 52, a 56 and a 60. And that is in the Cleveland RTX 588. The twos, um, these are really, are, are probably the best wedges I've had. Um, and they do kind of exactly what they say on the tin, to be honest, uh, just kind of normal standard wedge shaft and the multi-compound grip here. They, <sighs> for a, uh, an explanation of them. They're just a really good way. Now, newest addition to the bag. This is literally, if you saw my kind of last video about the unboxing, I was trying out three putters. And this is the bad boy, which has made it in. Just give me a moment. grippiest head cover in the world and this is what I have got so it's the spider blade and it's a funny one really because it looks when you put it down exceptionally square behind the ball so when the ball's in there it just sits really really square but I've never had a putter quite like this because you can see the actual length if I was to really kind of bend over I could almost use it as a belly putter obviously with the anchoring not being allowed this is all about kind of counterbalance and about letting the putter flow a little bit freely with the top of the handle using as a counterbalance weight and I have to say straight away out of the other two that I tried, the Daddy Long Legs and like a tall um, black, a really, really simple and old school looking club, this was the best. It just straight away, I was racking in putts with it. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed. I'm really excited about actually getting out and playing with it. Got the other, one, got the other ones in the box there. So it's a 38 inch um, kind of club overall. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to kind of having to go with it. Putting is a part of my game, which in the last kind of few months, I won't say I've been struggling with, but I've just not been finding the right balance. I feel like I've been hitting good puts and not quite been going in. And then I've been hitting some off center puts and not quite rolling out. I needed to find something I was comfortable with. And hopefully this is going to be it because in testing just then, it was really, really good. Now, apart from that, balls that I'm using at the moment, I've just got a new batch of these through the Tor Preferred X tailor-made. Um, I have been using the Callaway uh, Chrome Soft, which I was really, really impressed with, but these are very, very similar in many respects, in a similar feel, similar distance. E either one of those I'd be happy to use, either the Callaway Chrome Soft or the tailor-made. I used a, one of the new Pro-Vs um, the other week, which obviously for so long has been a benchmark, the benchmark of the the modern kind of ball if you will but i've got to be honest i didn't really see that much of a difference between them so tour preferred x they feel good and i've got a batch through so that's what i'm going to be using for the severe foreseeable future uh gloves um i've got some tour preferred tailor mates as well and i've also been using these foot joy uh cyflex as well i mean gloves are again not really something i can get too dewy eyed about um as long as it feels good and it fits well yeah, it's going to be good. I mean, the difference between the top brands, so your Foot Joys, uh, your kind of Tailor Mage, your Nikes, your Shrixons, those kind of top end gloves, you're not going to see a massive difference between them. So I'm more than happy kind of using the Foot Joy. I'm more than happy using the Tailor Mage, as long as it fits nice and it feels good. But like I said, most of the top premium end uh, gloves do that. Um, the only other thing I've really got in my bag is an alignment stick. Don't really need a close-up of this. Um, with the alignment stick, you should always keep one handy 
just before you go out and play. Uh, the bag itself is my trusty old ping bag. Um, I've had a chat with the guys from TaylorMade and I think they're going to be sending me through one of the new staff bags, which is cool, um, kind of with my logo on as well. So either one of those I'll use. I do need a, um, a power caddy though, or a trolley. Because uh, at the moment, I'm relying on uh, caddies for my tournaments. And you guys have been amazing at that, by the way, for actually coming and uh, being really good carrying my bag around. It's not been this one. It's been my uh, old Cleveland um, carry bag. So I might upgrade that as well very, very soon. Right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment in the box below. As always, you guys are really good at that. And as always, I will try and get back to you as many as possible. I hope you enjoyed this. And I might have to do an updated one of these relatively soon, depending on what irons I get. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And this is the bag I'm going to be taking uh, down to Woburn and playing in the British Masters Pro-Am with Pete Uline with. So we'll see how we get on. Right, guys. See you soon.